All right, welcome back to another Bargain Savage video. And today I have for you this Bluetooth shower speaker from Dollarama. Now that's from Electra is the manufacturer. And from my experience, I sometimes feel that you might as well not have any brand name at all on there when it says Electra. But uh, nevertheless, it says it's a Bluetooth speaker with a suction cup. It's water resistant and it has instructions on the back here. I'll throw a picture of that up right now. Use only with a five volt, one amp charger. So you might want to pay attention to that. Let's, uh, let's see what's in the box. Okay, I'm gonna throw up two links right now of the other Dollarama speakers if you want to watch them. Keep in mind that uh, one of them is the first YouTube video that I've done, so the video quality is lower than this, if you can imagine. So don't have a super long cable here. It's micro USB, USB-A on the other side. The speaker itself. Okay, it kind of feels like a softer plastic. It's not rubber. It kind of looks rubber, but it is not rubber. And uh, the suction cup actually looks all right. It's got a little strap here. You can put that over top of the shower head. I would probably think that that would be a better way to go. Looks like it has a little rubber cover over the charging port that I can't seem to pick out. Might need a knife to do that. Oh, there, I've got it. Little flap, micro USB in there. All right. So it's got power, play, call button, and your arrows. Okay, and here it says that the long press for volume, short press for next track. If on a call, press to answer or hang up. And a short press on the play pause button will play and pause. So let's try and connect this thing. Scanning. I got Q50. Pairing, and it's connected. That was fast. Okay. So now, first off, I will just get a maximum volume out of this, and we'll see what it does at point blank range. We'll use my decibel meter for that. Quite a bit of distortion. Pause the track. Okay, we got 105.8 decibels at point blank range. Now I'll throw a comparison up here with the other Bluetooth speakers. So the Bluetooth speaker like this from Dollarama, the Mini, its maximum volume at point blank range was 97.2. And the clip-on hat speaker was 115 at point blank. So it's a little bit, it's in the middle. It's a little bit louder than the mini and it's a little bit quieter than the clip-on. So now we'll do a measurement at 10 centimeters. I know it should be one meter, but I'm gonna do 10 centimeters because that is what I tested the other speakers at from Dollarama. So we'll give that a try. And that's the same track I used to test the other ones as well. 
and we got 93.5 decibels. Now I'll throw a comparison up of the other ones, and we had the Bluetooth mini speaker from Dollarama made 81.3 at 10 centimeters, and the clip-on hat speaker made 80 at 10 centimeters. So that is quite a bit of difference there. It is the loudest at the farther point away. I will, however, say that it does have quite a bit more distortion there. I'm going to try it on some other tracks, and uh, we'll let you know what I think of that. Back in a flash. Okay, I played some of my other music on this, and it seems pretty decent. Some of it is kind of distorted, but if you just turn it down a couple volume notches, then it seems to be a lot better. Uh, bassy music distorts lots. One thing I noticed when I made a call with this, uh, they said that they could hear me clear and fine, but the person I was talking to, I talked to a lot, and on this speaker, they sounded very bassy. Their, their voice was a lot deeper, so that's probably because the driver is a lot bigger, so it can't produce the smaller frequencies, I would think. The, uh, the suction cup seems like it sticks pretty good. You'll hold that phone up, you can pull on it quite a bit, and then it pops off. But I tested that, and it only sticks for about 10 minutes. Now, I didn't stick it to a tile when it was wet or anything like that. It was just on this phone. I set it on here, and I let it sit there, and in about 10 minutes, it had popped up. So that is probably going to fall down in the shower if you use that there. I would definitely use this little loop here to uh, hold that, and that'll probably keep most of the water away from it too because I don't think this thing is probably super water resistant, but it might surprise me. The buttons on here actually worked quite well. Forward, short press, backwards, short press, long press to turn it up, long press on the back button to turn it down. Uh, incoming call, press once, answers the call. It's all good there. Play, pause, works good. I'm just gonna add this note in here. When I had this hooked up to my Note 9, I tried pairing this to my Note 9 and my Note 2. When it was hooked up to the Note 2, the volume on here actually controlled the volume level on the phone. You would see the bar go up and down with the volume. When I did it on my Note 9, it didn't control the volume on the phone. It actually was, you could increase the volume here and it wouldn't increase the volume on the phone and then you could increase. So it was like two different volume levels. On the Note 2, it was singular, singular volume level. So. I don't know how it'll work on your phone, but that's how it worked on the difference between my Note 2 and my Note 9. So overall, it's not bad for four bucks. Like, hey, it works. It connects Bluetooth. You can put it in the shower. If you drowned it and it doesn't work, you're only owed four bucks, so it's not that bad. I don't think it's hi-fi by any means. It's uh, doing the job. I think it does the job a little bit louder than some of the other Dollarama speakers, but I think it's lacking some of the high end that the other ones were producing, but it's got more bottom end than the other ones are producing. But when you play it high, it's distorted. So I'm not super happy with it. I mean, if you want a shower speaker, this one probably works. The one that I currently use is from Princess Auto. I think it was like $6.99 on sale. Mm, works quite a bit better than this one, but uh, it's got a lot bigger suction cup. It doesn't, however, have this loop on it. So that's kind of nice. So, yeah, you can tell me what you think in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, then please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.